Hi there, this is Mrs. Kiyoka, and I'm going to share a brief tutorial with you about how to create a Sway presentation. So I'm going to open up Sway to start, and I'm going to create a new Sway. So I'm going to go here, create new, and I'm just going to give you the basics today. So I'm going to start by giving my Sway a title. So let's say I want to do Inventors Changed the World as my presentation. And I am going to not worry about pictures and things until I've added all my content. So all of my important text needs to go in first. So I'm going to click on this little plus sign right here to insert some more content. Each time I do that, it creates what is called a card. And I get to choose what type of card I want first. So let's say I'm going to do a few inventors and I want my first section and my first heading to be an important inventor that I'm presenting about. So I'm going to do Thomas Edison. Okay. And so now I have the heading here. I want to do another card that has some text in it, some information. So I'm going to click on text. And I'm going to add some of my content. So I'm going to start with Thomas Edison's basic life information here. And I can write down things about um, when he was born, um, later in life, he married, all sorts of information um, about Thomas Edison's life. Now, since this is kind of a one section of my presentation, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to emphasize this. I don't want to make it a new heading, but I want to emphasize it. Okay. And then I can create a new card. And you can see with this dark gray behind it, this is all part of one group, the Thomas Edison group. So I have a heading card. I have text card, and I'm going to add another text card. So I've got basic life information on that card. Perhaps I want to do um, some major life events. And I can write down my text here. In, in particular, And then I can write my paragraph or my summary about whatever it is that I'm writing here. Again, I want to emphasize this right here as um, kind of the title of this card. Um, and I can add as many cards as I want. So let's say I want to do one about um, contributions to science. So I'm going to, whoops. Oh, notice I made, a, I made a mistake there. I changed that into a heading. I didn't want to do that. So let's see here. I'm going to delete this because I don't want it to be a heading. I want it to be text. So right over here is trash can, and I'm going to delete that little section. Okay, now I'm going to add a new card, insert some more content. I want it to be text and contributions to science. Okay, so I'm going to emphasize that, not make it a heading. And while I'm uh, in the text, I can also accent things. So um, one of the most useful inventions um, humanity has seen is the telephone. Okay, so let's say I want to emphasize that word telephone. I'm going to add a little accent there. And now you see it's a little bit different here. Okay, and then I can add some more uh, information here. Uh, addition, phonograph. All right, and let's say I want to accent the phonograph there. Okay, so this is where I write down all of my, my major information or my content. So 
this is called the storyline and that is where I, I write down all that content and then I can add pictures and, and things later. Over here is the preview and you can see there's not much to preview yet. All I have is some text. Okay. So once I'm done with all of my content, I've added all my text, I can go back and add the bells and whistles and make it look interesting. So starting up here at the top where it says background, you notice that I can add a background image. So I can click on here to add a background image and then I can search up here. Now it's taken some of the words that I have used and it has already started searching for sources. So let's say I want to use Thomas Edison or no, let's see here. I want inventors to change the world. So I'm gonna get a picture of the earth here. I'm gonna click on suggested. I don't want all of these things. So I'm just going to use Bing right now or um, Flickr. So I'm gonna use Bing. And there I have a bunch of pictures of the earth. So I can find one that I like, I like that one. And I can either click on or I can drag it right into there and then when I go over to preview and I look at it, ah, very nice. Okay, inventors who change the world. I'm going to go back over here to my storyline. I'm going to do the same thing for Thomas Edison. I'm going to put an image there. So I'm going to change my keyword to Thomas Edison and search. And it's still searching only in Bing. If I want it to search in Flickr, I can click on that, search again, and you notice I get different results. So I'm going to go back to Bing because I like the pictures of Thomas Edison there. All right. Oh, I like this one where he's holding the light bulb. So I can drag that on over. And now I have a picture of Thomas Edison. Now, sometimes when I go over here and I check it out, sometimes the picture of Thomas Edison doesn't look quite right. Maybe I want it to be a little bit bigger. I want to show more of his body. Then go back. And then over here on the picture, where it says focus points, I can click on this. And now on the picture, let's say I, I want to make sure that I get his face. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna create all these little points here. And I also wanna make sure we get that light bulb in his hand. I'm gonna click on this area. This is really important. So I want that area to show up in the picture. Okay, and now that part is done. So now I can click that X, go back, my storyline and see what I've done so far okay in addition let me go back up here to my cards I want to add some more images let's say um, I got down to this part about uh, his contributions to science and I want to add some images throughout I can go over here and I can click on image and I can add let's say I want to draw a, get a picture of the phonograph Can search through that and get a picture. I can drag it. Then I can add a caption. So I'd probably want to put like Thomas Edison invented the phonograph in the year, blah, blah, blah. And now, oops, and now I have that picture in my sway. So I can look and see there it is. Now, what if I don't want that picture there? I can go back to my cards and very easily take my card and move it to where I want it to go. You can see that green line kind of moves as I move my picture. Whoops, grab my picture here. There we go. And I can move it to where I do want it to go. Okay, so that is a quick tutorial about how to. Uh, Start your sway, create this, create it in the storyline. You can preview it over here with a previewer when you're all done and you're ready to check the whole thing out. You can press play and you can go through your entire sway. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and that you can start on your sway. Thanks.